The more Kiri explores this frontier world, the more she realizes that wherever she landed is almost entirely abandoned. Only one group has ever reached out to her, and where they are is still a mystery. So, without slowing down her plans, she spreads across this island like the diseased species that others see them as. And we will continue to do such a thing. Uh, we were able to grab last episode a nice area over here purely by diplomacy, and we're kind of bumping our production of uh, energy right now because we've been using a lot of it on the battlefield and uh, for unit production. So we'll see if that's something that we can uh, recoup over time. Our armies aren't actually that big, but as you can see, a lot of them are what you would consider babies or larvae. We got some pustules and uh, some small leached emergence. A lot of the way that Kiri has decided to go, in my mind at least, is to start the species from ground zero, to bore them again as they are fresh, which is the reason we went through that emergent um, directive where we can just spawn a, 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 a unit, but also to ensure that biology and science don't go ignored and to improve them and to improve themselves with the Xenoplague. And it's working out kind of nice. I'm having a lot of fun with it so far. Uh, and we're wandering the uh, the countryside currently, just looking to level up, gain experience for some of our armies that may not have made too much combat in the past couple episodes and see if we can change that up. There is no production happening here, so let's start making sure we get some production. Another botanical gardens might not be bad, but Ah, uh, the brood cluster thing is just good to have all around. Meanwhile, we can start getting some more heroes up. It's just our Cosmite is uh, not nearly as high as I would want it to be. Couple of frenzied though. Maybe just to bolster our army's base numbers. Your relation level with the Psyfish faction has been reset. Uh, chaotic nature is zero, the point of origin existence. That's probably because we've, we've turned down a few of their quests. But we're going to end our turn now. We're going to see if this piece of land... Oof, we've got some people being doing some nasty combat stuff. Uh, we're going to see if this, this piece of land attaches to anything else. We can recruit a hero. Let's see what this guy is. Ooh, he's expensive. Soul Spear. Mending. Yeah, alright. I'm down. I'll spend it. We want the hero. We'll have him in charge here. We'll level him up. Does he have, do we have a secondary we can actually just give him? We can give him the static bomb. Uh, we can shop and buy. I think we'll just throw the static bomb on him for now. And this is 90... 19. Honestly, this is better? It's a tier 2 versus... It's a tier 2. Psionic bypasses all shields. Poison... Broken mind chance. Actually, yeah, let's give him that one. The Xenoplague will slap on him for now. Oh, he's got 20 friggin' skill points as well. Okay, uh, let's see. Devour hope. Attempt to feed on the hope of a target enemy unit, causing it to enter a state of despair. If this is successful, the caster heals for 20. I'll take that. That's really good. Eight strength to, redu to uh, resist the field of the despair. If resisted, apply Broken Mind instead. So they're gonna get something either way. Sinister Chorus. A Sinister Chorus permeates the air around the unit. All non-mindless enemy units adjacent to this unit receive Sinister Melody, reducing their damage resistance by two. That could be really good too. Let's get Steady Aim, Sinister Chorus, Dead Eye, Dead Eye 2, Range Specialist, and Shrouded Step. That's a great little purchase right there. I'm gonna give them him a heightened mm, Plague Pods though. Let's go with Plague Pods. Ravenous car Carnivores with Mutations. Yeah, we'll accept the quest. We wanna we wanna heal up with the these symbiotic creatures because they're kind of similar to us. And I like that. Jazinko is building right now. And we've got another unit over here that we're just gonna... I think we're just gonna... You know what? Let's manual combat. Let's see if we can spawn ourselves some more pustules, because we're gross. And we can continue to spread that way. 
All right. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna try to not um, use any tactics, special operations, because it's gonna eat up resources. I'm gonna try and just hit them on our own with our own abilities. Not quite. Though we might be able to pop a shot. No, but... We'll throw Overwatch down. I don't know if they'll reach. But let's get these guys all, all the way over here. Ideally, we're gonna try and hit and flank them with both pustules and get them infected just by the pustules. We can actually get a shot off. Let's go ahead and do that. A little bit of damage is better than no damage, I guess. We'll throw the guard down and we'll see where they move. Overwatch triggered. Wow, they got effed up hard. Resisted the poison nicely. Good, I'm happy about that miss. And they're gonna get one shot, and I'm fine, you know, if they hit with the one shot. They missed both. Damn. Okay. Let's hit him. Parasitic infection. I wanna move up, I guess. And we can probably hit a parasitic infection from here. Oh, that's the pustules. And it just friggin' explodes. <laughs> oh boy, that was way better than I was expecting. All right. Still can't run in. Though we could rush up and do another, another splash like that. Let's go ahead and do it. It'll also stagger. Plague pods, they threw them like grenades weirdly. It's weird, it's like they don't have a proper animation for plague pods on some of these guys. I don't think I can hit them. I can. Let's gunk shot the one that's gonna die at least. Enemy annihilated. He has no actions left. I can't jump him. I can't hit him with that, so we'll just go ahead and do that. Throw our own <laughs> grenade sounding plague pods. It's fine. It's funny as hell is what it is. We're ending the turn. Whoa, wait a minute, what? Why are they back? Uh, that's unfortunate. Huh. That's extraordinarily weird. Now let's get him in there. Just rush in, bite him, infect him. Infectious bite. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Enemy destroyed. There we go. The enemies of the hive have been defeated. Come on, one pustule. No pustules, damn. Level ups, but no pustules. Uh, we got some production out of it, which is not bad. Ooh, and we, that's right, we can, we can grab yet another annexation, it seems. It's gonna be for this area, so we can't do it out here. I don't see anything else. We'll head, we'll head up this way and see what's going on over here. Meanwhile, energy convoy, 40 energy's huge. 
After how much we recently just spent. Dwelling of Obscure Lair. Speak with your Medusa. We could just go to war with them and try and fight them. But I don't think I really want to do that quite right now. Yep. And our turn for now. We'll annex next. Nuclear fallout over here. Dawn of a new union. We can rebuild him. Or her. Or it. Enhancements are unnecessary. Our fallen heroes learn by the very nature of their termination. They say that spending so much time waiting in the void is the greatest of all teachers. Rachel Green, nurse. All right, what do we got? Strategic Operation Planetary Unification Protocol. Awaken the planet core node and petition for the status of planetary unifier. This will start a timer that can end the game. Requirements, friendly dwellings under Alliance control. I need two of them. Required reputation level virtuous, you have neutral. We've also got this one. Instead of using force to conquer this planet, we'll use our influence and alliances to come out on top. Relation gains you complete, uh, relation gains you Relation gains for completing quests is increased by 50%, and you get a plus 100, whatever that is, increased to your reputation. I guess just 100 of our reputation. Resurrect a fallen hero by a process of genetic manipulation and regenerative medicine. That one we might want real bad. All right, let's see what else we can do over here. Uh, aquatic development we're going to need. Uh, let's aquatic development first. Let's see. I think let's start priming respawning our hero and let's see if that gets us the hero we lost because that could be huge for us. Meanwhile, we've got a river over here. River Delta, River Delta, Arctic and Fertile Plains. So why don't we say, hey, get out. Thank you. And then we'll come claim this for ourselves. Can we claim this for it far? We can. Hang on, let's take a look. Oh, it's got a research station? Absolutely. Thank you. As we continue to just rock and take what we want as our own. Alright. Let's move up. Is that free Cosmite? I think that might be free Cosmite. And it does seem to, to be that this is going to connect right here to something. We're getting there. Destroy your mutation. We have not lost control of this project. This step in its evolution is natural. Flesh is easier to infect when it is torn apart. So now, Eva Maringa, if we kill enemies with parrot by parasitic division, if we kill enemies that are affected by our parasitic infection, uh, those enemies affected by par parasitic infection can now evolve pustules under your control to destroyers upon winning combat, and we get a new weapon. Um, it gives parasitic infection, which we are, I think, we'll just want to equip to our main hero, the Omega Strain. Yeah, let's grab that. We've been working towards that pretty heavily. Water base is going to be good. We're going to need to get on the water if we are landlocked, uh, island locked. Let's go ahead and get some research, all of our basics now. Uh, let's confirm our movement here first. Annex this sector. Grab our freeze Cosmite. Nine of it's not a bad thing. Something else over here it looks like. Oh. Maybe not. Swing out that way. I think we're going to exploit research over in this area. So let's go ahead and have a build a research exploitation over here as well. The more research we get, the faster we're going to get the, the bigger and scarier techs. And I think we're going to go fight this right here. I'm a little nervous to do it. Let's get Plague Plot Pods on you. And let's give you uh, a bit of a health boost. And let's see if we can make this work.
Okay, through four batches in defensive mode. Let's start moving everybody up. I wish I could move more than one unit at a time. That's my one wish. No, no, no. I don't want you to four. I want you to move. We're going to set you up to have Overwatch set. Never mind. You're just going to stay there, I guess. Move up. Hunker down. I'm going to pop him here, because I think that's going to give him Swarm Shield. Yep. And we'll do the same here. Perfect. End our turn. Let's go ahead and slow it at times two. It's a lot of damage. Okay, they triggered Overwatch. Ooh, okay. Ready. That's nasty. Now let's see if we can fix it. Looks like we can heal. It heals us. I think. Oh, it heals those who have the Xenoplague. Which is not everybody. Okay. It's an unfortunate miss on that graze. Mm, we might want to do Parasitic Strike and just hit all of them. And then just go to town and kill them all. Yep, let's just go for him. Enemy Good. Annihilated. Rending claws this guy. Enemy annihilated. Good. I'm gonna move you back. Change how you're facing. Say okay. I think we're just gonna let them stay there and hit them both with some poison from a distance. Melt a little armor off of them. And see where they end up moving. Unit lost. That's unfortunate. Zero. Holy shit. They just wiped out both. Okay. We gotta move you just a little bit. Oh, 55 was a bad, bad call. Shit. I think we're gonna have to use this so we don't lose anybody else. It didn't kill him. I thought it would kill him. Destroyed. Oh. Mistakes. Enemy down. Well, maybe we'll get some pustules. The enemies of the hive have been defeated. We got one. We got some combat stims and a little bit of food as well. Let's go ahead and pop you into the army. You leveled up. Definitely want vitality too. Just get you some more health and we're gonna run you back. Damn. What an unfortunate, unfortunate situation for us, but Sector annexed. Good. Protection ready. Next turn. We're still doing fine. Hanging in there. I'm thinking we should start dumping more money into troops now, but holy crap. <laughs> we are uh, very broke. So we want to, the blue veins is what we want to exploit here. Research, research, food, or production. Um, let's go ahead and do 
more research. We're gonna run back, mar merge armies of what we've got. There we go. Let's see what this is and let's see if we can clean out things up here. We'll auto combat that. Hey, he leveled up. Can we go on the pools of Gideon, aquatic nest spawner? We should, I wonder if we can get over there just being where we are. More Cosmite, I'll take it. Can upgrade some more units if we want to. And it looks like we are actually landlocked. I mean, there's still the possibility of to our east. Maybe, but I don't think that's true. Systems infiltrated. We have lost a large amount of energy through the use of some sort of energy siphoning device. Unfortunately, the device is self-destructed before we could analyze them, so we have no information about who planted them. I have a feeling I know who where we are, who did it. Alert level one. That Amazon. Sapo sent a message. The stature of your empire may rise in completing these tasks, but don't lose focus on what's really important. What's that even mean? I'm not gonna... You... Are neutral with us? I don't know what you want. We have a seed trade over yet. Yeah, you're gonna decline it. I don't know what she wanted. Empire task completed. Production ready. More food, food, food events. We're gonna have to clear this out eventually too. Once these are both done, we can start working on creating some more... Frenzied, maybe? How much space do you have? Two? We'll get some more people in your army, then we'll start moving south. We'll see if we can pull our hero back from the dead as well. What? Resurrect a fallen hero, right click. What? It's fine. Kocho Zaza has returned to Jazak New. Is that, is that who I want? Yeah, I think that's exactly who I'm looking for. All right, we got him back. Sweet, that's actually great. So once the army is full, we can actually take them out as well. In conclusion. Research development done. So that's our basics there. Aquatic might be the way to go. Could also do active retribution. Uh, re uh, retribution. The Kirko have not forgiven those who once enslaved them and will take vengeance on their former oppressors. Or the Kirko have learned to forgive and welcome their old enemies as their new allies. We'll have to choose one or the other and we'll see what benefits we get from that. Uh, I'm gonna decline your quest at this point. Right now I'm just gonna, I think, forcefully start taking things that I want. So can I not get there? We can't, we have to embark on the water. All right, well, let's start moving and clearing out the rest of this island then. And getting the experience, oh. Unless well, that's exactly what's happened is he's embarked and now he'll be able to go on the water. I see. More Cosmite drops. Knowledge event, brood cluster was built. Beautiful. Beautiful. I will give you your 12 Cosmite for that. And we'll accept that to murder them. Merge with them, please. Okay. Cosmite. Oil spill. This whole area could be good for us, I'm not sure. We'll give it a shot. Uh, I think we'll auto combat this. Good. Production. We'll auto combat that as well. Ooh, we lost our pustules, but we got a destroyer. 
merge. We'll come over here. So these guys have Savage Bite, Acid Spit. They're a Xenoplague unit, so I don't need to give them the Xenoplague pa Parasite, though it still would not be a bad thing. Let's give you, ex let's give you some decent Xenoplague buffs, and we'll hold out. Upgrade. Oh, he leveled up. He's got eight skill points to spend. More vitality is always welcome. Spore feeding. Hero surrounds their army with spores that feed on their uh, unit's kills to regenerate their hit points. Yeah, that sounds phenomenal. I love that we, it feels like, it really does feel like our units and our, our species is evolving over time. What they are and what they're capable of is already not nearly what it was when it first started for them. Alright, this guy is basically going to be done exploring, I think. Get you merged over here. I'm going to move you... ...out so he can move in. Oh, we can upgrade this sector? The Tavir Forest. Military Innovation Center, Society Investment Center. Let's go with Society. And then the Arborean Zone, which we have not picked, I guess? Food and Research. We've already got our both of our food exploit. Now nah, we'll go with our second one there. We're gonna move you. So these guys are strength 766 and we're strength 745 plus 280? I mean, it might be worth trying to fight them. We could set up both armies nearby. And we could, we could use both armies. Actually, that might be the way to go. We'll put our armies close by each other and we'll, st and we'll attack when that's done. Let's go research sector upgrades over here. We can an annex yet another sector, so we should. We might as well grab the jasmine fields there. But we'll hold out, we'll hold out. Production ready. Now we've got um, all kinds of units that we can build now that we've got the other military complex set up. Well, that was a failure, our quest for them. Operations available for priming. Hmm... I think we'll hold out on priming any operations right now. Incoming communication. Okay, you've got a message. Recent technology have been given me the power to wipe you from the face of the planet. Good, I'm glad. Incoming communication. Okay, what else you got? You're at the bottom of the capability rankings now. I don't even know what that means, but we're just gonna have to build an army, I think. That's what we need to do. I think we're gonna merge this guy with one of the armies we've got already. You're almost healed. 827, 588. Let's go for it. Oof. Whoa, Octo Whale, Tactical AED Assistant, though? I'll take that reward. Can the whale leave the water, though? That I'm not sure. Hmm. I think you're just gonna stay here for now. You're gonna hunker down here. Well, we're gonna have to keep the owl out. Um, we're gonna move in, clean them up, kill the 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 not the owl though the whale. We got a pustule, and we're gonna get back 
off land here. Back home. Okay, we got demand from the fish faction. I'm declining your demand. I'm also gonna move to kill this thing off. I don't know why it's trying. We're just gonna auto that. We shouldn't lose anything. And I want you to merge. Perfect. Now we're gonna start moving to take this thing out. With all of our armies here. Oh, that not you. You were not supposed to go. You are. And we'll go ahead and just drop an annex here. We're gonna be grabbing all the things on all the uh, on this entire island either way, so don't mind me. We're just gonna be kind of grabbing things. Let's go with Central Science Lab. We'll have an entire area dedicated to research. Actually, I think I'm gonna have you grab this here. We'll be able to remove that spore cloud. Bunch of Ravagers. Yep, we, can, we know we can annex more. I know the Psy fish are not too happy, but we've got the use out of them that we wanted. Omega Strain is done! I can feel my life's work within me. I have no further purpose than to infect others. Will I explode violently to travel the air as spores? Or will my body liquefy and spread through the water supply? I like that this one guy last journal entry. is just a slow move towards insanity. So we've got the colony upgrade, which unlocks the Omega Hive. Um, each additional Omega Hive increases its strength. And then we've got strategic operation timed. Infect a non-Xenoplague enemy colony in the surrounding area with the Omega Strain for 10 turns. A powerful viral agent that strengthens in effect as you build more Omega Hives. On failure, apply civil unrest to the colony, which causes them to uh, 12 unrest for, for a while. So we can just hit from afar at this point. And maybe that's exactly what we're going to do. More mutations for stronger units. I'm going to decline your side fish faction, I'm sorry. Omega Hive. I kind of want to drop an Omega Hive, but let's see. If we just start spawning Omega Hives everywhere. Let's get our first Omega Hive up. Okay, we're just going to set him up right here and we'll just double team them. And again, it's just so ridiculous. We're just going to auto combat it. No pustules, unfortunately, but other things leveled Objective up. Completed. We'll take that reward. Gladly. Now we can upgrade a little bit with six skill points. So this is our melee boy. He's back. Fury of the Swarm, because he's going to be up close. And we'll just go ahead and confirm that. And basically what we're doing now is just trying to clean out all the spawners. And that's what we're going to keep moving with these. These two groups together are going to kind of focus on doing that all together. You're going to stack there. You're going to stack there. We'll keep moving. This Omega Strain is going to be, I think, our ticket to success in the end. Stop demanding things. I'm not giving you anything else. They're gonna declare war? Fucking bring it on. Retribution comes best by ceasing an enemy's above. Alright, we're gonna take a look at what those doctrines do here in a minute. Let's just go ahead and set up. Infection experiments. We're just going down that tree straight out. No one's gonna stop us. Operations available for priming. Okay, let's see. Omega Infection, um, no, Doctrines. Act of Reconciliation, what do we have active right now? The chances, okay, that's our Xenoplague thing. We need more Doctrines. We might, we might need to focus on research towards that. Um, all colonies now receive plus two for each non-aggression pact with other players, which we have none of right now. Or, 
Friendly units deal 10% damage to all non-Kirko units. The Kirko have not forgiven those who once... I mean, this one's going to be the most useful right out the gate. I'm going to hold out and start saving for Omega Infection, I think. <laughs> and just wait it out. Society Investment Center. Omega Hives. Okay, we'll get both of those up. We'll accept. Keep rushing. We might even test our new Omega Strain on uh, our once allies. Those from the other dimension. Their mistake for wanting to go to war with us in the first place. We're going to start taking areas in the south now. Oh, he's gone. Well. We still need to move in here for another quest, so we will. Handle the he a hero offer. We can't afford it. We can't afford it. Not gonna do anything for that right now. Just gonna keep moving and taking what, what we want as ours. 